All right, so in this video, we are going to show you folks how to do a very simple two atom coordinate scan where we're going to basically start with the atoms at five angstroms and then bring them down to zero angstroms. And so what we do here is we start a new job and we're just going to pick two random atoms here. We're going to start with, let's just try two silicon atoms. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight both of them. And then under adjust, we're going to click scan coordinate. And we're going to tell it to start at five angstroms and then stop at zero. Now you can set the number of steps. That is the number of intervals, how much you want the atoms to move before you uh, measure the energies. Um, so in this case, we'll just do as an example here. We'll go ahead and say we want 10 steps. We don't need to worry about optimizing the scan, so we're just going to go ahead and set this forward. And when you do that, you'll notice that there is a yellow line that connects the two silicon atoms. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and send this forward. And we're going to set this to MOPAC. And you'll notice that as soon as we have this set to MOPAC, it's already set to coordinate scan. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set the theory to PM7 charge should be zero and multiplicity should be a singlet so you shouldn't have to worry about that you can also put a descriptive title up here so i might put um, jmc coordinate scan for si2 once the calculation is finished it took about 0.8 seconds for this to work we'll go ahead and load this and it's going to say oh we only have one atom here what happened well remember you had an atom that was way out here and another atom that was basically way out here. And what you did was you told it, take 10 steps towards each other until you get to zero. And so what they are, they have the two atoms laying on top of each other. Okay, so you want to scroll down the page and here's your data right there. Now what might be useful is to highlight the whole data set. You can copy it and you just control paste it in there. All you have to remember is, is that this is the distance in angstroms, and this is the corresponding potential energy. And the units for potential energy in this case are heart tree. Now one thing I like to point out to students is, is that you can actually take a look at what the animation kind of looks like to get a better picture for what the computer basically did. And to do that, when you go to this coordinate scan, up here in the right hand corner there's a little film strip that means animate. So click it, it'll load your molecule and you can actually control how you want to animate this. So in this case we'll go ahead and play it forward. You can actually see kind of what happened basically what happened in this calculation. So every time, go back to the beginning, every time that there was a kind of a stop point, the computer basically measured the potential energy of the two atoms right there. So we can go forward by one, move forward, measure the potential energy, move forward, measure the potential energy, move forward, measure the potential energy. 